the process of encouraging a specific behavior by way of positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, or punishment. Hi guys. Hi. Do you know Coco's excessive barking every time someone knocks on the door or rings the doorbell is a real nuisance? I wish there was something that could be done about it. Well, positive reinforcement is an event that adds a pleasurable stimulus to reinforce a desired response. Oh, maybe we could use positive reinforcement to make it so Coco won't bark when someone rings the doorbell. Yeah, that would be great. Condition the canine subject, Coco, to remain silent when visitors ring the doorbell by providing her with a tasty treat, popcorn, every time she remains silent when we say calm, accompanied with a downward hand motion. This Eventually, Coco will associate calm and a downward hand motion with silence. Popcorn and the praise that Coco receives when she ceases barking is secondary reinforcement. Secondary reinforcement is not essential to survival, but it is desirable. The reinforcement that we will be giving Coco is fixed ratio because every time Coco ceases barking, we will reward her with a treat or praise. Okay, ready?
not effective because as a puppy, Coco is trained to bark when visitors ring the doorbell, so I guess the habit couldn't be broken. We did this for an hour. Also attempted generalization by using sounds that were similar to a doorbell, like a chime, but those, she didn't respond to those either with the conditioning and she continued to bark. In a normal conditioning experiment, we would have used extinction to eliminate the conditioned response. Although, since the conditioned response did not take, we did not need to use extinction. If we had used extinction, we would have not given Coco a treat every time the doorbell rang.